up ahead perhaps one of the key races of this entire weekend. The men's 3,000 meters and two of the top runners nationally, in fact, the top runner nationally from Dundas Parkside, Greg Anderson, the Canadian interscholastic record holder in this event, eight minutes, 10.55 seconds, and he's going to be given a good run for his money by arch rival Brendan Mathias. These two know each other, Sue, and they've ran against each other in national competitions. They'll get a chance here today in Offsa. Yes, they competed against each other in 1,500 meters last night, and uh, Greg outkicked Brendan. Um, so it's just going to be, you know, between them again today. I think that Greg's looking forward to his last race in high school, and I think he'd like to end it with a new record. Matthias wears number 1117, Anderson wearing number 540. These two runners will be up or near the top of the pack, but still plenty of running to go. Seven laps from this point on. There's Anderson in third spot with the white jersey and the green stripe and Parkside written across it. But Anderson, again, the defending champion over the Offsa Senior Cross Country Championship distance, Canadian Junior 1500 and 5000 meter champion, 1986 Pan Am Junior 5000 champion. It goes on and on. He has 10 Offsa gold medals to his credit, hoping to add another to his list here this afternoon. And what a way to end your high school career. He and Matthias both took part in Europe earlier this year, last March, in fact. Representing Canada in the cross-country championships. Anderson won the trials out in Victoria. Matthias finished second, and Matthias has been a bridesmaid to Anderson for quite some time and is hoping to turn that around here today. Yes, I would think that uh, nothing would please him more than to beat Greg Anderson. As we talk about those young men, Sean Clary of Georgetown has taken over top spot. He has set the pace. Anderson amongst that group, and so too Matthias. So a group of five trying to break away from the rest of the pack early on here in the senior boys' 3,000 meters. Matthias and Anderson may be playing a tactical game because they both competed yesterday in two 1,500-meter events. And uh, that 1,500-meter yesterday was very tough. There was a lot of jostling. Someone went down right in front of Greg at the start. And it, it, I was talking to him, and he felt he expended a lot of energy to go around the person and then catch up with the leaders again. So he's tired, I think, today. But... Well, it's going to be interesting to see, and, and as you say, fatigue might be a factor here. Both these athletes extremely well trained. Sean Clary, who led in the previous lap, has fallen back now as the pace picks up somewhat, and that is Anderson moving into third place. Leading is Brendan Mathias from Toronto Thornhill. In third spot, Greg Anderson. Look for these two runners to compete for top honors here this afternoon. The 800 meter split was 207, so we'll see how that fares with the record. Anybody's race here at a very comfortable pace. The thing that is really incredible is how relaxed Greg Anderson runs, how he's very smooth, and uh, he's just a typical distance runner's stride. Nick Sorio is also in contention from St. Andrews as he stretches his lead out. Several runners taking their turn here, extending the pace in the senior boys 3,000 meters, but Sorio's looking in great shape. In second spot, Greg Anderson. He's and really enjoying competing in front of the hometown crowd, and I think it's, it's a great way to end his career. Beat Matthias in the Hamilton Spectator indoor games this past winter in the high school event, but that's Sorios in first spot, Matthias in third, and Anderson in second place. Four runners pulling away from the rest of the pack. The pace picking up somewhat here as they turn it into the stretch run. Crowd on their feet watching this race, knowing very well how competitive these young men are. You have to give credit to Brendan Matthias. He's, he's shown tremendous toughness in every race with, with Greg. Working it hard. And our leaders have about a 25-yard edge on the rest of the pack who are extremely bunched, so we've got the cream of the crop in this 3,000-meter event pulling away. Greg Anderson now taking over the lead as he takes his turn leading this race. Brendan Mathias in second spot. Sorios, who had taken a run leading for about a lap and a half, has fallen back into fourth place.
Anderson and Matthias not wasting any time as they pull away. Well, it looks as though the two are back at it again. Anderson with that stocky build, followed by the much lankier Matthias in second place. They turn it around for home. Five minutes already run in this race. Anderson, as I've mentioned, the Canadian interscholastic record holder in this event, 810.55. This race requires a great deal of mental toughness, and um, both of these athletes demonstrate it time and time again, each time they race each other. Taking a look at the various arm styles, Anderson with the flop style, and Matthias much more determined and defined in his style. Yes, actually Matthias is a little bit tight in the upper body, uh, and, and perhaps that's something he's working on in practice. Matthias tightening the gap now with Anderson as they come around the front stretch. These two runners far and away in front of the pack. The gold and silver medal not in doubt. The only thing certain is as to who is going to get the gold medal, either Anderson or Matthias. And Anderson pulling away here. Maybe testing Matthias and just seeing exactly what he has. That's right. A Anderson surging forward and Matthias just can't stay with him. Anderson has this incredible ability to surge and keep going. In great shape, Greg Anderson, no worse for wear from his gold medal triumph from the 1500 meters, appears to be in great shape. A very slow pace early on, and this seems to have helped him as Matthias and Anderson able to keep up, obviously, and now with all sorts of energy to spare, but Anderson pulling away. It's a one-man race at this point in time. Matthias a good 20 yards back of the man from Dundas Parkside, Greg Anderson, as he gets a good hand from this crowd in the front stretch. Coming up to the bell lap is Greg Anderson from Dundas Parkside. Seven minutes even. He's making it look so easy. And depending on how fast he comes off with his last lap, the new Canadian interscholastic record could be set. Seven minutes for the split coming into his final lap. It's a sign of a great distance runner when they can make running 60 seconds look easy. And we'll have ourselves a new record if Anderson can run this final lap in under 70 seconds. Seems to be very much within his grasp. Great effort here by Greg Anderson, who has turned it on in the latter half of this men's 3,000 meters at McMaster University. What a fine future this guy has. And the crowd on its He's feet, they want a new record. He's break this record. There's no doubt about it at this point. The crowd on their feet, Anderson coming into the home stretch. 7.46, 7.47, the clock counting down. Anderson wanting a new Canadian interscholastic record. 8.10.55 is the record. He is going to do it. What an incredible effort by Dundas Parkside's Greg Anderson crossing the finish line. Unofficial time, 8.02. Tremendous well, he has race. shattered the record. That's right. He has shattered it by eight seconds. That is a world-class time for any junior athlete. Just a tremendous, tremendous run. We can't forget Brendan Mathias. Another terrific day for him. He'll end up in second spot. But the nemesis continues to be Greg Anderson for Brendan Mathias. Just cannot beat the Dundas Parkside runner. What an effort. He looks no worse for wear, and the hair blown back just a little bit, but a great day for Greg Anderson, double gold medalist, the men's 1,500 meters, and today in the 3,000. What a great way to end your high school career.